drift modes are popping up in sports cars all over the world, but Audi Sport development boss Stefan Rail refuses to have anything to do with them, insisting they're a waste of time and tires. So if you want to show off with the wild-looking, tire-smoking, perfectly controlled drift in an Audi Sport model, you will have to brush up on your car control, not your button pushing. No drift mode. Not in the R8, not in the RS3, not in the RS6, not in the RS4, Rail said. I don't like them. I do not see the reason for them. We do not see the sense in sitting there burning the back tires. It's not fast. That seems a bit like Rail and his team are missing a trick that is proving popular with enthusiast buyers and isn't technically difficult to do. It's also a whole lot safer than holding down the skid control button for long enough to switch off all the electronic safety nets, which Audi Sport will actually let you do. You can do it yourself, drifting, with the ESB off, if you hold it, the button, for 3 seconds, Rail challenged. Then it will not intervene for you even when it, the car, is fully out of control, because that's what you asked it not to do. Almost every fast car, from Ford to Ferrari, now comes with, or soon will, a drift mode so drivers can just stomp on the gas and turn the wheel to instantly look like rally stars. The dangers of do-it-yourself drift control, which our forefathers used to call driving, make up most of the moral defense for the companies that use the computer-controlled versions. While critics have called drift modes irresponsible, proponents argue that it is far safer than switching off all the safety nets, because there is still a level of skid control safety behind it.